Hi guys, it's Trevor, and this is Discovering Gay History. Okay, so today we're talking about revolutions, riots, and events before Stonewall that no one knows about. Let's do it. And finally, the Black Cat protests. Here we go. So on New Year's Eve, 1966, eight plainclothes LAPD officers infiltrated Black Cat Gay Bar, hoping to catch gay men in the New Year's Eve tradition of a New Year's Eve kiss. Gay acts of any kind were illegal and could, could result in arrest. So as midnight struck, gay men around the police officers began kissing. The police officers produced guns, began trashing the place and arresting gay men on the spot. Now the event is described as a riot, but the patrons were not rioting. Uh, it was police brutality. Victims of the event describe it as more of a panic. They were just trying to get out. It was unexpected. It was a moment of celebration. You have cheering and then that turns into screaming and it, it's a scary, scary thing to think of. So 14 patrons were arrested that evening for public lewdness. The individuals who were charged were also registered as sex offenders. These men tried to appeal the case, but the court denied hearing the appeal. Now there was public outcry after this. There was a demonstration and a protest done in front of the Black Cat where LGBTQ individuals were protesting for their, their rights to exist and, and show acts of love legally. So the very first time the word pride was used as part of the gay rights struggle was because of this. An organization called Personal Rights in Defense and Education was founded by Steve Ginsburg. Now, the protests were met with police violence, and the protest inspired the founding of the gay magazine The Advocate. It still exists today, and it was the newspaper for the group Pride. Now, all of these tiny little protests and riots bubbling up over the, all over the country led up to Stonewall. Stonewall was not unique in, in its format or, or what happened or the reaction of the gay community. And I think it is really important for us to recognize and honor the, the events that led up to Stonewall. There is this mentality in, in the modern gay community that, you know, our rights began at Stonewall. And I hope that this entire series shines a light that there was so much shit going on before then. Without these riots and, and Frank Kamney and, and Oscar Wilde and, and these things that brought homosexuality out of the closet, Stonewall wouldn't have happened and, and we wouldn't have the rights that we have today. Anyway, she's getting emotional. We'll see you tomorrow.